You're listening to RT Radio 1 today by day, a phone-in with Fianna Fáil leader Charles Sovey. The day-by-day day phone-in with the party leaders is now a central part of the election battle on the airwaves. Today it was the turn of Charles Sovey to face an hour of questioning from the listeners. Later in the now familiar green helicopter piloted by his son Kieran, Mr Sovey arrived at the Woodfab factory in Ockram County, Wicklow to launch his party's manifesto on forestry. He was first taken on a tour of the plant, which last year had a turnover of 16 million pounds. At a press conference held in the staff canteen, Mr. Hawhey and the party spokesman and forestry, Brendan Daly, outlined their new policy, which they believe could double the numbers working in the industry by the turn of the century. Later in the afternoon in Arklow, the Fianna Fáil leader received an enthusiastic welcome from scores of party supporters and townspeople. But despite the large turnout, the Wicklow constituency is a difficult one for Charles Hawhey and Fianna Fáil. Well, you're in, a, you're in a constituency where you have a, a battle to get two seats. You've targeted before, you've had a difficulty. You have to get two seats here, really, if you're going to get back into power. No, that's not so, no. We're looking for two seats here, yes, definitely. But uh, we're targeting every constituency. We're looking for an overall majority uh, for the country as a whole. Uh, and we're treating every constituency as equally important for that purpose. And very briefly, you don't believe the Hawhey factor is a negative factor do you, anymore? Do you? I'm a journalist, Mr Hawhey. <laughs> no, I don't think so. You got a no. view The final port of call in a long day was Bray, just before five o'clock this evening. Here it was more handshakes and all smiles. And as he left the constituency, his election workers promised to deliver him two seats, but can they?